Hi, this is Krishna Merchant and thank you for joining us for the market roundup. The Indian markets ended the marginally lower in a volatile session of trade on account of the union budget announcement. Uh, however, losses in the European markets weighed on the Indian markets which uh, ended slightly lower. The Sensex closed down around 0.3% uh, at 25,373 and the Nifty ended at 7,568. Uh, the Indian markets were very volatile as the budget was announced today. Uh, the finance minister uh, uh, kept to the fiscal deficit target of around 4.1%. However, he refrained from giving any specifics of how to meet the target. Uh, Moody's Financial Services uh, said that uh, the government uh, w was along the expected lines in terms of growth, but uh, there were, again, uh, no mention on how the fiscal deficit will uh, be reduced to 4.1 for the current fiscal year. Among individual stocks, it was Hindalco and Tata Power, uh, which were up around 3% each. Among the losers were Hero Motor Corp, which was down 4%, and um, uh, Tata's uh, consultancy services, which was down around 2%. The top gainer was the BSC Realty Index, which was up 5% following the announcement of the interest subvention for taking personal loans to 2 lakhs from 1.5 lakhs. Power and metal indices were also up around 1% each. Some of the positive announcements uh, were pertaining to the portfolio income of FIIs, which uh, would uh, uh, be treated as uh, capital gains, uh, which would uh, um, increase uh, the revenues. Uh, also, uh, there were some positive announcements for the bank, where the finance minister said that they will be uh, allowed to raise uh, long-term uh, loans, especially for investments in the infra sector. Uh, defense companies and insurance companies benefit uh, as the government increased the cap limit from 26% uh, uh, to 49%. Lions Capital and Bajaj Spencer, they were up around 3% and Max India was up around um, um, marginally, that is 0.6%. Companies from the defense sector, like for power defense and uh, offshore engineering were marginally higher. Suzon Energy was also um, up around 2% uh, after the customs duty for power, power generation equipment was reduced. Uh, overall, uh, most analysts said that it was a mixed budget. All eyes are now on Infosys uh, earnings for the June quarter of this current fiscal year, which will be announced tomorrow, and also the industrial output data.